Namaskar. Hello and welcome to P Guru's channel. I'm your host Sri Ayer. The guest that you're going to meet today is someone who's extremely busy, a prolific author. He has written some transformational books about, well, you guessed it, Yogi Adityanath. And we are today with Sri Shantanu Gupta, who wrote the two books about Yogi Adityanath. The monk who became chief minister, the chief minister, I think that's the right one. The monk who became the chief minister and a yogi who transformed the Uttar Pradesh, the man who transformed Uttar Pradesh. I'm sorry if I'm getting it wrong. We'll get the right titles from the guests today. Uh, Shantanuji, Namaskar and welcome to P Guru's channel. Uh, namaste, Shriji. Uh, it's lovely to be back on the channel. Uh, Sarji, just for the record, can you set straight the exact titles? My thoda sa hichkicha gaya. Ji. Uh, so the first title is, which is his official biography, is The Monk Who Became Chief Minister. And the second, mm -hmm. which is his five years of work, for, for which we did a, a show in your house. Yes. <laughs> right? That's The Monk Who Transformed Uttar Pradesh. Wonderful, wonderful. So yeah. I, I correctly I stand myself corrected. So now 2.0 is a few months into the uh, second term of Yogi Ji. And yeah. uh, now he is trying to take it to the next gear from what I can see. Yeah. Perhaps right. you can tell us some of the dreams and I'll just set the stage for you, uh, mm -hmm. Shantanuji. If you look at GDP wise, each state mm -hmm. contributing to the GDP of India, mm -hmm. Maharashtra is at number one. UP mm -hmm. used to be, I think, at number two at some point of time. I don't remember when, yeah. but right now it is two, three is uh, number two is Tamil Nadu. Number three is Karnataka. UP is yeah. at fourth place. Yeah. But if the, but UP is a big state, it's got a lot of room to grow. I have no doubt that it will go to number one in no time at all. So kind of talk to us a little bit because I'm really intrigued by some of the schemes that I have read about. For example, yeah. each district tries to specialize in one thing. So take it away, sir. Yeah. So I think uh, you're right. Is We are all, almost six months into the second term of Yogi Atanath. And uh, we are finding a very new Yogi Atanath. Why I'm saying so? Uh, I'll just take you to almost January last year, meaning uh, January 2022, when Yogi Atanath was in between the campaigning for the next year. And when my book, uh, book was out, my second book was out, The Monk Who Transformed Uttar Pradesh, I met him in his office and I asked him that the election looks pretty, pretty straightforward. I think you're going to get the second term. And he smiled and I asked him, like, what will you focus in the second term? And just imagine the scene that time, like it was all... Akhilesh Yadav, caste, election campaign, who will win where. But his focus was clear. He said, I will do in the second term whatever it takes to make UP a one trillion economy. Right? So economics, his economics was right. And he added the sentence that I can't do even welfare economics until unless I don't have a prosperity in my state. Right? People keep saying jobs, job, governments can government can only give two or three percent of job. Right? Rest all has to come from private sector. And I can't create private sector jobs. I can create conditions for private sector to operate. For, for, and that's law and order, which I created. That's a lot of power, 24 by 7 power, which I am doing, uh, giving. That's a lot of connectivity, be it airports. And we have done sessions on that, if you remember, right? Be it airports, be it expressways. Right? Yes, I do. Yeah. Now, now, my, now my state is ready. Though I, I invited a invest, lot of investment in my first term also. But second term will be all about investments, economy, prosperity. So and as soon as uh, uh, you, uh, BJP won the elections, even before taking the oath, he floated the RFP to get a consulting company to align them for the one trillion economy project. So can you imagine even like, he was in so much hurry that even bef uh, uh, before taking the oath, his team floated the RFP, the request for proposal. And by the time he was three and a half months into, they have all the big five consulting company, many other groups applied for it and Deloitte won the contract. And now almost a 50, 60 member team works very closely with different departments in the UP bureaucracy to align them that how we can uh, create space for um, more business, more investment, more markets for uh, the products from UP. Uh, so that's one part. Well, one trillion economy is now the, now the buzzword, the talking point between whoever you talk to in UP bureaucracy. They are running the departments, whatever, but their focus is uh, one trillion economy. So that's one. Second thing, if you remember in 2018, and we talked about it in our podcast before, 2018, there was a global investment summit, right? Where almost 5 lakh crore rupees of uh, investment was promised and almost like 60, 70% came on the ground. Uh, so 5 lakh crore is, is a big amount. It's difficult to realize. It's almost equal to one year budget of Uttar Pradesh. That, that's 5 lakh crores, right? 
now yogi atnath in 2023 will going for another uh, global investment summit in lucknow and he's doing this time with a method like what is the method so first of all in november uh, just uh, a month before he did a curtain raiser in delhi with fiki members with cia members with eny members with people from industry with the ambassador from a lot of countries and declared that this time me and my team is aiming for 10 lakh crores of investment promises right uh, and there was a big show it was uh, covered in media and then he sent almost six uh, teams to 16 countries and they just came five days back so starting from australia singapore one senior team went japan korea one senior team went uae one senior team went uh, multiple almost five countries of europe one multiple team went two teams went two separate teams went to united states one team co covered canada and united states one team covered uk and united some other cities of united states and one team went to latin america uh, so this is first time in the history of india <clears throat> that any state has done such almost a carpet bombing of all the multiple countries and the purpose was three you can find market for the products from up you can get investment in up or any kind of other bi bilateral trade and within this uh, 15 days after scanning through all the mous some mous might not be worthy after checking they finally finalized they already got the intent the worthy intent of almost 7 lakh crore sorry i'm saying all the figures in rupees i'm sure your your viewers will translate into dollars and uh, billions and millions so almost 7 lakh uh, crore rupees of uh, intent is already promised and these are all irg were very senior teams meaning a cabinet minister one chief secretary or additional chief secretary rank officer two three senior officer people the teams from cii fiki eny so so first term if i can tell you if i can rephrase the first term was how to keep the mafia out of the state right which was like ingrained in up machinery from last many decades and this term is how to get investor in so that's why i phrase it mafia out and investor in right so that's how the first six months have gone uh Shreji. Thank you, sir. And uh, in terms of numbers today, do you have an approximate idea of what the GDP is for you, UP this year, like 2021 or 21? So I don't know. The, uh, I, may be, I may be wrong with the exact number, but it's of the order of $250 million, right? So they have to go four four times. They have to grow 250 the... $250 billion. I'm sorry. I think you meant $250 billion. Yeah. So, so yeah, $250 billion, Sorry. Yeah. So you have to grow uh, four times to become $1 trillion. So that's a very steep target. And this is also the uh, first time that any state has taken a target. You will see Central taking a target. You will see Narendra Modi saying five, five trillion economy. But I have never heard any state taking a target on, uh, on themselves, any state aligning with a consulting company just for this purpose, any state sending very senior uh, level teams to multiple countries at one time. Right. So this is a very new economy focused uh, Yogi Atana that we are seeing from last six months. So now let's take a look at the global investment conference that is coming up, uh, I think, in a few months time from in, now. In February, in February 2000. February, okay, okay, yeah. okay. So is this part of the G20 initiative that India is heading this year or is it uh, just something that UP has done on so? So though it's not part of the G20, but UP is also one of the host states for the G20 uh, teams also. So, in fact, two days back, um, Yogi Atanath took a meeting with the senior members and they decided which are the cities the G20 is going. So, this is decoupled, decoupled from G20. They were anyway doing it on the start of their term. So, that for the next four or five years, they do something called a groundbreaking ceremony. See, these investment promises and MOUs sounds good. And at times, you have to follow them up. And this is a typical vibrant Gujarat model where instead of entrepreneur chasing the government, government chase entrepreneur that what's like you have, you have shown your intent what's your next problem do you need a land bank do you need a special power tariff do you need any kind of gst rebate or any kind of facilitation that the government can do or even any tie with the private party large scale tie with the private party which a government can facilitate so yogi atanath is following a typical gujarat model where government used to go out of the way and and de bottleneck any problem that the investor is having so and there's a term called gbc groundbreaking ceremony which is very common in a up bureaucracy and they did uh, gbc1 and gbc2 in last term and once these uh, mous are there and yeah what happened yesterday because the target was 10 lakh crore and 7 lakh crore is already promised from this 16 uh, country roadshow the target is increased to almost 18 lakh crores by by internal uh, team and and you will be you will be surprised to know as soon as all these teams came yogi yogi atanath gave them two days and asked them to present in detail 
in a marathon five hour meeting what happened in those countries right and ministers themselves presented so this is a very new kind of administration where where minister present a deck as if like a corporate which is, which is rightly so which is rightly so and each country each mou each engagement was threadbare and a lot of industry bodies front face these let's say in australia the australia indian business council in in, in, in singapore singapore business chambers of commerce in france similar bodies um, diaspora all of them so and now because of these tours many of these countries are official partners of the global investment summit so right so one is on the branding wise because uh, uh, i have a lot of nri friends i've studied outside worked outside i got almost 150 to 200 calls messages in last uh, 15 20 days that this is a very new uttar pradesh we are looking we used to get teams from karnataka from tamil nadu from maharashtra but we never looked up as a investment destination up was a different story maybe a religious destination but this is the first time a very concentrated up team in fact um, i'm sure you know dr anurag meral right the team went yeah. to his lab in stanford the biospace lab if i'm not wrong right and they spent almost 2 hours there and professor called me later that this is the most informed government team i've ever met in recent times right and i'm sure you see dr anurag meral's content is quite technical right they were talking about yes, 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 the yes. medical device which a normal person cannot even comprehend and so the officers were like ready they they knew medical term they knew their state they knew their medical facilities and how can you add to that right so such feedback for a up team which was known for something else is super encouraging wonderful uh, shantanu ji and no conversation with you is complete without us touching about the ram mandir coming up in ayodhya yeah. so could you throw some light on that when is the expected date and then yeah. i think you are also have an airport a divya bhavya shri ram mandir airport okay. or something like that okay. you can correct okay. me i heard you say that one time but uh, okay. please correct me and then uh, so, tell us a little I- bit about that I'll tell you. I'll tell you a small side story also uh, attached mm. to Ram Mandir. So in 2019, when the verdict came, uh, if it came to my mind, 9 December 2019, when the verdict came in favor of the Ram Temple, uh, I think some left-leaning journalist tweeted, uh, tagging one of my tweet, uh, that uh, is your Mandir Mandir done? Can we talk economy now? Right? Mm. Like in the stone. And luckily, I have the data with me. I replied that in India, almost there are 200 towns which run on temple economy. Right? Mm. Tirupati itself is three thousand crore rupees economy. Yes. Right. Yes. Shirdi is five hundred crore rupees economy. Ganesh Vishwanath in Mumbai itself, not in whole of India, in Mumbai itself is a two hundred crore rupees economy. Kamar Yatra, which happened in west of UP, which is just a fifteen day affair, and a lot of my friends in NDTV don't like this. Maybe the the old NDTV, new NDTV, I don't know. <laughs> so a lot of my friends in NDTV do. Oh my God, Kamar Yatra is creating a mess. That itself is a two hundred crore rupees economy, and a lot of the kamars, the wooden kamars, are made by a lot of Muslim craftsmen. So. so religious places are also equivalent economy that's one but 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 let's talk about ayodhya see ayodhya in last 5 years have already uh, is become a quite a destination why ayodhya was a disputed town all along right whenever there is a, a high court hearing a supreme court hearing there used to be a possibility of a tension in ayodhya so there should be a huge police deployment right and till now the temple was in a tent and if you visit them you will get like you will feel the guilt right like in my country in ram cities ram is sitting in a tent and you have to fight a court case for that to establish that that rama belong to ayodhya right and so 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 we won the case and last 5 years yogi atnath is doing a deepotsav there so from a disputed town it became a town which is logging in in the guinness book of world record every year for the number of diyas it's lighting it was 5 lakh of, i think for the first time then 8 lakh and na- last time is 9 lakh right last time is 9 lakh uh, and they got the guinness book of world record for that so earlier when i used to go to ayodhya and used to find hotel in any of the aggregator sites like make my trip or yatra i used to get one hotel or two hotels right now almost 15 20 hotels have upgraded themselves to for tourists see shraddhalus were coming to ayodhya anyways even if mulayam singh yadav put kaate on their road they will come anyways right but a lot of shraddhalus don't add a lot of money in the place right they they carry their own food and they they pray and go which is which is which is the real shraddhalus but a lot of tourist shraddhalus i call them the people like us right who maybe need a good airport who need a good road who need a good hotel these people are adding a lot of money to the ayodhya economy right uh, so so that's that now coming to the uh, temple update so uh, the ram mandir trust is posting the 
and everyone you should go to the, the twitter handle and keep checking the latest update i think 15 20 days back they they posted a picture uh, uh and it's the whole whole what you guys the neve is done and now the surface is also coming up the estimation is that by 2023 december or 2024 january the the major first phase of the temple because now they're making almost a temple city uh, their town a new uh, their town for that so maybe every portion may not be but the temple will be open the first phase of the temple will be open for darshan uh, in 23 december or 24 uh, january and the airport you're right uh, the airport will also be ready and it's a international airport it will be the fifth international airport in up and the name is maryada purushottam shri ram uh, ayodhya airport right and last time i remember i joked that if by any chance I, rahul gandhi travels to that destination and as soon as he is landing i'm sure captain or air officers will tell that now we are landing at the uh, maryada purushottam shri ram international airport and <laughs> rahul gandhi will get shock of his life because for him ram is imaginary anyways right so so yeah that's that they're trying their hardest to do this thing and and they are becoming more and more unsuccessful in fact you know there is a phrase in uh, in the united states they say somebody is getting run out of town they they don't even need to be run out of town they are themselves running out of town yeah, this yeah. is how they are looking at their politics very very sad when you want democracy to be strong you want two yeah. strong parties and then they're just uh, you know squandering a good opportunity thank you so much shantanu ji and wish you all the best for uh, the the work that you're doing i'm hoping to see a yugi 2.0 transformational book from you next and uh, as always viewers please like share and subscribe to our channel don't forget to click on the bell button for notifications and namaskar sir namaste